This tutorial is going to cover Java web application security using uh, form based authentication and uh, running on a Tomcat uh, 7 web server. So I'm going to be creating a servlet that uh, returns a simple string if it was uh, successfully accessed and uh, two HTML pages, an HTML authentication page and an HTML application authentication error page. And uh, the web.xml for this uh, web application is going to have uh, the following defined. A role that uh, users trying to access the servlet must belong to and a uh, form authentication mechanism specified and uh, also I'm gonna set up a Tomcat user in the Tomcat uh, users.xml file and that user is gonna have a username and the password and it is gonna belong to the role that was uh, specified in web.xml and lastly, I'm going to test run this uh, web application. I'll uh, start by creating a new web project. I'm going to call it uh, Java Web Security Project uh, 04. And it's going to run on uh, Tomcat. Seven. and it's going to have a web.xml file and here I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new servlet that I'm gonna call do something servlet and it's gonna be in com.za.tutorial and it's gonna only have a do get method And uh, here in the do get method, I'm gonna set uh, the content type to text HTML and uh, return the string success to be displayed by the browser when the servlet is successfully accessed. Let me actually also remove. these comments next I'm gonna go to uh, web contents and I'm gonna create here a new HTML uh, the login HTML so I'm gonna call it uh, authentication.html And I'm also going to need an uh, HTML uh, login error page that uh, I'm going to call authentication error page. Or authentication error dot uh, HTML. So the user is going to reach this uh, error page if uh, not able to log in and uh, in that case all what I'm going to do is to prompt that user to supply the correct username and uh, password combination.
now going back to the authentication page so for form based authentication uh, we must have uh, uh, the following field it uh, must have a j username field and a j password field and must have a submit button for inside this uh, form and the form must have a me the method for the form must be post and the action must be j security check and uh, the title i'm gonna have here is uh, application login page and uh, i'm gonna have a uh, sign in heading and uh, the username label and the password uh, label for both text fields Now uh, going to web.xml Only users that uh, have the role name of uh, users are going to be able to access the do something uh, servlet so access the URL that actually uh, invokes the servlet and uh, I'm gonna have form based authentication so the out method in login config is gonna be form and uh, the form login config is gonna have uh, this login page the authentication.html and this uh, login error page the authentication error.html Now to get the server's directory in the project explorer, let me go ahead and uh, do this, try to run uh, on Tomcat 7. Uh, for now let me stop it from here and go to the servers directory and the tomcat uh, users.xml so I'm gonna be adding a user here that is gonna have the password of uh, password and uh, the role of uh, users and uh, the username I'm just gonna say uh, VA user and I'm gonna define another role here the user's role uh, let me do a save all and uh, now I'm gonna close up the Tomcat user and uh, go ahead and uh, run the servlet again
and I'm gonna use the username VA user and the password of uh, password 